hey what's going on virgo thank you so much for tuning in i love you guys all right so let's see what the message is going to be like for y'all tonight all right so right now it's like 12 35 here in baltimore a.m okay um so let me see. All right. Let me set my intentions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Angela, guys, for helping me with Virgo's reading. Thank you that my true gods are here with me to speak through me loud and clearly. Thank you for closing the portals to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. And so it is. All right, y'all. I'm truly blessed to have you guys here in my life. I am just the messenger, y'all, so don't shoot me. Okay. If you're triggered by anything, they show me or not my comment section. I love you, though. Okay. Um, everybody's on a different timeline. I could be speaking to past, present, future en energies for any one of you. If it doesn't resonate, don't force it to fit. If it's something that you know energetically you would not do, don't force it to fit. Okay. And be mindful of your neighbor. All right. So even if you may not want a certain person or you wouldn't do a certain thing, does not mean that the person that's listening or viewing in would not want to do it. Okay. <laughs> they may be all for it. Okay. So be mindful of that. All right. Um, operate in love. If you can't do that, then this may not be the channel for you, okay? Because I ain't with all of that nonsense. And like I said, I love you guys tremendously, but my goal is to help you to evolve and ascend, all right? So let's jump right on in. Resurrection came out with Isis, okay? So Isis is leading the reading, all right? Now let me see what Isis is speaking about. Give me a moment. Ah, right on the page. Why have you sacrificed your own life for the sake of others? Woo. You have given away the most precious thing in life, you. All these years of dedication for the sake of your principles, all the pain and suffering you have endured, and yet you have ignored your own needs by putting others before you. This learned behavior has become a destructive pattern in your life. Stop self-imposing. Okay. And take steps to live out your dreams. By self-sacrificing yourself, you have forgotten who you truly should be. Never act as others expect you to be. Instead, take responsibility for your life and quit. Don't blame anybody else for your disappointments and failures. You need to be in service to yourself first and foremost, Virgo. So take care of yourself and learn to say no to others, especially when their demands enslave you. Woo! Be like a phoenix as you rise from the ashes of resurrection. But Isis invites you to reclaim your personal power. Virgo, I think I was speaking about this like a couple of months ago. We always sacrifice in ourselves. We the fucking sacrificial lamb, y'all. <laughs> it's time to stop. And this is what we have been being shown about ourselves over the last few months. Maybe some of y'all could be even longer. Like you may have been noticing this about yourself, right? And this is what I inspire to do is to help you to learn how to love on yourself just a little bit more today, right? To stay vibrationally um, high and in tune with your higher self. So we are the phoenix, basically. I feel like a lot of us are reclaiming our personal power if you are still in the process of, of trying to find that. Stop being the martyr, <laughs> okay? Hand any guilt over to the divine and take the steps necessary to achieve your power. Take control of your life, all right? This is the day that you want to seize. That's how I'm hearing it. This is a resurrection. This says self-sacrifice, the price is paid, needs of others have been made, time to rise and to become the best for you in your kingdom. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> Let me read this. Let me pull on this. <sighs> A lot of us already know, but tell me about the resurrection. And I, I feel like you're being resurrected. You're going through a resurrection. Thank you, my spirit team. King of Pentacles in a reverse position. So some of you may have been sacrificing your own needs for somebody who's been stubborn, who's been greedy, who's materialistic, who hasn't offered you anything seriously. Okay, serious. All right, so this hasn't been a very stable connection with whoever this King of Pentacles reverse is, okay?
and you're just you're so generous <laughs> all right you're so generous and what i'm saying is like you're emotionally secure okay you've been trying to you've been literally trying to have something stable and fulfilling something long term because you were not able to have this or obtain this ten of cups in a reverse position so you could be in separation from someone or divorce from someone it could be some domestic conflict is how i'm seeing it um but what you've been trying to obtain is that happiness your own fulfillment okay but you haven't been getting it so i feel like you've been sacrificing yourself um just for the sake of it but you still haven't been receiving it you know sometimes when we make those sacrifices um it stems from something from childhood okay that needs to be accepted 555 on the timer all right so yes yeah, some sudden changes may begin to take place in your life if it hasn't already that may begin to show you some things about yourself and yet yeah, it may sting a bit this is what i'm hearing but however it's helping you to awaken to who you truly are okay page of cups comes out okay and it feels like to me with that page of cups it's like spirit wants you to try new ways basically new ways of doing things all right stop sacrificing yourself to people who are slow to open up who are emotionally immature we're learning to use discernment okay is how i'm hearing it too as well um yeah, it's, it's a lot that spirit is working through you and healing, healing you, healing you on, on a multi-dimensional level, okay? So this is so your light can shine. This is what spirit is doing is bringing harmony to you, all right? This is that balance to you, to yourself right now, okay? This is about you is how I'm hearing it, all right? Um, nobody else. I know we be wanting to hear about our counterparts or the people that we love and things like that. I keep getting the five of swords here coming out and keeps trying to peep. Yeah, in the ten of wands, right? But at the end of the day, um, this is your path. So you want to be able to move on without being hindered and, and, and not having to keep carrying the burden and the weight of other people's shit. That's just how it came to me. Okay, I know it was a little bit kind of like, <laughs> right? Oh, I didn't even realize I had little beads in here. I used to make waste beads and stuff. It takes up too much time. Endurance. You have been enduring way too much. You don't have to endure is what I hear. Some of you I'm hearing definitely feel like you have to endure for love. For friendships, no. You don't have to endure shit is what I just heard. I don't know what ancestor of God is with me. <laughs> but yeah, you heard me. <laughs> Let me see. What does that say, Kelly? Okay. That's a C. All right. It looks like it say Kalish. You certainly are a survivor. You have been knocked down, but have got back up again and again so many times that you lost count. Yeah, you've been knocked down so many times, yeah. To the point, it's like, you don't even know how many times you've been knocked off your damn feet, right? It says the proverbial school of hard knocks awards you a gold star for your absolute tolerance and tenacity. Fighting to keep your head above water for so long has been a hard battle. And you are worn down by the struggle. So this goddess brings about transitional relief in your life. Okay. She advises you. On how to navigate through troubled times and difficult situations. Life has gifted you with more than your fair share of tough experiences. So now is the time to take your survival skills to the next level, honey. And share all that you have come to learn with others who will be inspired by your continued endurance and fortitude. All right. So everything that you have been through is literally like I, I don't know if I spoke about it in this reading or not, but reading before somebody personally reading the shit. This all starts to run together, y'all. But it's literally about you helping others. 
<laughs> my old co-host of the radio show that I used to be actually wow <laughs> literally used to call me fortitude Joan Joan <laughs> you will work hard and inspire many Virgo so the worst is behind you these experiences are making you stronger okay so take stock and seek the lessons within some of you need to do some weight training to build your strength, both physically and mentally, but all as well. So remember that, like through all of this, you're being resurrected. Okay. Wow. <clears throat> all I keep hearing is keep fighting, fight back. That's just the theme. That's going to be the common theme I'm, I'm thinking for this week. <laughs> Fight back. Tell me about the endurance card. The devil. Yeah. This is all you've been enduring. The fucking devil. Right? Negative energies, karmic relationships, egos, addictions, things like that. Okay. This is what the constant battle is like the devil. Let me ask why. Adversity has always been like in your life to stop you. To stop you from being the great teacher is what just came to me. Okay. To stop you from helping other people to ascend. Mm-hmm. Page of Cups next to the Ten of Cups. Okay. To keep you vulnerable, all right, and afraid to open up, to literally, literally block you. And what I'm hearing is the way it has been orchestrated from these negative energies or entities um, is to attack you through your family. Okay. I feel like some of you have had dreams of having this happy family, you know, marriage, children, things like that, right? Two parent households, stuff like that. But you have not been successful at achieving this, okay? And I feel like for some of you, you may have a counterpart in your life that could be um, a divine counterpart, a twin flame, and you still have not been able to achieve this desire or this dream that you have because, of course, on the twin flame journey, boom. You got that adversity coming in again, smacking you, right? I mean, not even smacking you, shit. Is you getting beat the fuck up right now, right? Because of this mirroring effect of your divine counterpart to you of your wounds from whoever that King of Pentacles reverse was that came through, right? From whoever these karmic connections are that you have had um, in your past, right? Some of you, even in your now, some of you are ending karmic relationships. Okay, so Spirit is telling you that you don't have to sacrifice yourself anymore. Connect to your um, sacred sexuality too for some of you. And the reason why I feel like this card is coming out is because some of you are um, have some unhealthy soul ties to some people that need to be broken. And some of you are still having some type of unhealthy attachment to some type of sexual trauma. Okay. So whatever that is, spirit is asking you to, to, to break the soul ties or that contracts that you have with those situations. Um, it can be reversed, but it's you that's going to have to do it. You have to release and free yourself from those situations. Okay. And whatever the sexual trauma is, begin to do some healing on a deeper level when it comes to that, all right? Um, but yes, 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 being able to be open sexually connects you to your um, divine counterpart too is what I'm hearing. It's like it's healing within that connection, okay? So anything else? We ain't taking all them cards tonight. <laughs> My right hand is itching. <clears throat> Compassion. Okay. So higher heart opening. 
So that's a lot that's happening for you. Um, you're receiving this gift too as well. Um, it's like it's like this cup, and, uh, and what I'm what I'm seeing is like this cup overflowing here with uh, abundance. That's how I'm seeing it. This is something that's coming from spirit. Okay, let me read this compassion card that's coming out now. Eleven, eleven is also on that card. Compassion says. It says, ignite your higher heart chakra, okay? It's, it activates your ability to embody the highest dimension of unconditional love, which is compassion. So aligning with your heart um, of the universe allows you to experience expanded states of eternal love. This requires that you heal your heart by letting go of judgment that created separation between you and your desires. So this card implies that you are hiding from your emotions or you have numbed your ability to fully express your emotional range. When you avoid feeling such as rejection, pain, or sorrow, it also blocks your capacity to experience higher emotional dimensions. So for some of you, I'm hearing that is that could have been you who hides your emotions. Okay. That emotional vulnerability is what I'm hearing coming through when it comes to love, experiencing that love because you have not had it or experienced it to the degree I know that you have hope for. You now begin to kind of like suppress those feelings is how I'm hearing it. OK, it's like like I said here, it's like you have numbed your ability to fully express that emotional range. OK. So when you avoid feelings such as rejection, pain, or sorrow, it also blocks your capacity to experience higher emotional dimensions. I know with myself, I do it all the time because I've always was an emotional child. And it's like, I hate having to keep, like, I will keep crying, like, keep crying. And I'll be like, I just don't want to cry anymore, right? <laughs> so I just be like, I'm going to stop. I told myself, literally, y'all, I was like, I'm not crying. I ain't shedding a tear no more for 2023. Um, and no, for no more for the rest of 2022 into 2023, y'all. That's what I said, right? Because I've cried so goddamn much um, just from people, you know, dying and the stuff my son been going through um, and stuff with my twin too as well. But uh, um, I said I was going to stop it, right? <laughs> you say it straight like that. Spirit, like, no, right? But I get it because if I'm not honoring all of my emotions, I'm not expressing my vulnerability and on this journey, we have to be vulnerable. It's just what it is because we're connecting with so many people and it says seeing the gift in your life in your lesson is a way to honor your feelings, giving you permission to be yourself. This card encourages you to stop judging your emotions or sabotaging your actions by paying attention to your own needs. This path teaches you to accept the range of polarity between sorrow and joy. Finding forgiveness and acceptance will accelerate your journey to the heart and engender more compassion for yourself and others. You built this wall because of everything that you've been through, all of the sacrificing that you have made. In order for you to sacrifice yourself like that, you literally have to cut your emotions off to do it. Because how I'm hearing it is like the love that was not given back to you. Like this is harsh. And in order for you to endure that type of rejection and pain and, and uh, yeah, abandonment, you definitely got to be numb. The entire planet is seeking more fulfillment and purpose. The goal is that we collectively accomplish the restoration of universal heart consciousness. This card is a reminder to you that your soul signed up to participate in this undertaking and to align with desires of your own inner cosmic heart. So when the Holy Grail card appears, it offers the gift of unconditional love. But you must be open to receive the love that you desire. You got to be vulnerable. So you're experiencing a higher heart opening right now. So the emotions that you feel in, don't suppress them. It 
It is time to let down the walls guarding your shattered heart. I'm getting ready to cry, y'all. This is a trigger warning, okay? Because even earlier, I was like sad. I was beginning to get sad. I did a members reading and I could feel it. I was already feeling it come upon me. So I was like, let me just start reading because it makes me feel more self-empowered. Makes me feel good to help y'all, right? To speak to y'all. But it's just like everything that my son is going through. And I just started to thinking like, you know, I really could have lost my son. And if he decided that he did not want to fight, and even though that's his journey, right, it's like still just thinking. And I just was like, I sucked it up, and I jumped right into doing something. I didn't fully feel the range of emotions that I should have felt. But the only reason why I did it is because I'd literally been crying, okay, every day, mm, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, okay, when it comes to my child. So 2111, I hear it. I feel like these last couple of messages, the Spirit has been speaking through me and to, you know, to me and to a lot of y'all because I have seen messages 2121 that you guys have left that you definitely are connecting with the story. And I know you guys are on my timeline. You are my collective. <laughs> but it's time to let down the walls guarding your shattered heart. An open heart is the vessel of higher soul that is filled with a frequency of love that is beyond words. Restore balance between your inner masculine and feminine energies and exemplify inner strength to continue the journey with ease and grace. Your inner feminine is requesting support from your inner masculine. It's time to show up, stand up, and speak up for yourself and develop your personal empowerment. Setting loving boundaries will expand your heart as you experience true self-love. And this is what it's about, boo. We are on this journey of self-love and we're healing. This is a part of it, okay? So be open. Allow spirit to work through you. You got an invitation to connect for some of you, okay? And I'll read that. It feels like, <laughs> you know how at the end of church, <laughs> and you ask, does anybody want to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? Yeah, Lord and Savior. That's what that feels like to me. <laughs> uh, so let me see. All right, so the invitation to connect says, there are so many different, there are so many dimensions to existence. For those who are developing evolved sensory perception, the senses will not be restricted to being impressed upon by the physical dimension. There are higher dimensions that the psychic or emotional nature can recognize, and even more refined dimensions that the higher mind can recognize. Beyond that, there are dimensions that the mind, even in its most expansive state, cannot grasp, but spirit knows to be real. But your spirit knows to be real. The more your sensitivity to subtle energies evolves, the more aware you become of these worlds beyond this world. For some, this will be easy to accept and will inspire interest in learning more. Others may be tentative about exploring connections with non-earthly beings. Great peace can grow in the heart of those who are unafraid, who are open to the idea of being that are aware of humanity, but not human themselves who want to help humanity evolve and have the spiritual power to be able to do so. No matter how mixed up and consumed by darkness the world may seem at times, there are so many powers of light working to see the earth and humanity through this most interesting time, to see us in this new age of spiritual enlightenment. It is all part of the divine experiment of life. And there are many forces invested in the successful and loving evolution of humanity. If you have been contemplating life beyond the earth, perhaps talking to the stars or gazing wistfully at other planets, if you have been intrigued by the mysterious code of light and sound, you are sure are embedded in crop circles or simply have a feeling that you would like to work with beings who are more spiritually involved than humanity at present, then you are being given a clear message with this oracle. 
There are beings in other worlds that are very aware of your open, loving attitude and work, and they want to work with you. They are actively responding to your thoughts and feelings. Since we live in a free will zone on earth, we must extend an invitation to receive assistance. Because you are unafraid and resonate from a place of peaceful curiosity and a higher level of awareness, you are capable of issuing the needed invitation to those that can assist humanity from a place of unconditional love. Of course, there are forces in the broader universe, just as there are forces in the natural world here on earth that would not be so helpful to the triumph of love on this planet. Therefore, we must issue our invitation to the forces of light with a peaceful heart and a wise mind. The invocation below has been carefully crafted to attain that purpose. You are asked to use it whenever you feel the need to do so. But knowing that you are part of a bridge between humanity and other loving worlds that want to assist life on earth. They thank you now and offer their blessings to you into life on earth in all possible ways. So love exists throughout our universe. Many loving beings that do not belong to the human race exist in worlds beyond the earthly realm. Among these are those who are aware of the spiritual plight of humanity and are willing and able to help us move forward. So unlike those with close, who close their minds because they fear the unknown, you have an open mind and an open heart, a receptive heart. Beings from the other world recognize you as a receptive channel for their unconditionally loving assistance in this world. You will both benefit from this individually and you will help the planet. So you are being offered an invitation to connect. So I'll read this invocation. You can read it along with me. I'll read it slowly. If you don't want to accept this, you don't have to stay tuned in. Okay. But um, let me start. All right. So as a member of the human race. Through my own free will. And for the greatest good. I call upon all beings that resonate with the quality of unconditional love and wish to assist humanity and earth to evolve on the path of divine love. I ask for the unconditionally loving ascending masters that serve Christ's consciousness to be the gateway through which permission is confirmed for these beings to enter Earth's field and assist humanity according to divine will, grace, and love. May all beings be happy and free. So be it. All right, y'all. Peace.